Hello everybody, welcome back to the garage. I'm going to do a quickie on the fuel tank in Rango. had a couple questions uh, during the Old Blue Willys uh, gas tank build about uh, the gas tank in Rango. And I mentioned it a couple times. I do like uh, the design in uh, Rango, I guess, a lot better. Um, I think it's just uh, a more elegant, easy, simple design but um, it does take up some rear uh, cargo space. And so for the owner of the old Blue Willys, um, he wanted uh, the ability to have more cargo space and then potentially a small back seat for his uh, small kids to be able to ride in, you know, get ice cream, stuff like that. So he did not want the tank um, basically behind the front seats, if you will. Um, so Rango, just a small refresher there. Um, the seats uh, are are lowered almost all the way to the floor, so there is no tank underneath the seat, uh, driver's seat, like it was stock. And so uh, had to find a new place for the tank. And when I did this, I decided to do a triangle-shaped tank um, behind the seats. And so you can see that here. And uh, it is um, about... I would say every bit of 17 gallons usable and that's some that's allows some uh some some airspace at the top of the tank so one of the unique features on this is i do have a old-fashioned sight tube um, instead of a fuel gauge so that frees up um, a, a gauge in the dash or whatever so you don't have to have one of those or you don't have to use a stick anymore um, but so this is a sight tube it goes almost all the way down to the bottom and then i have it if you can see that um, i have it marked um, in one gallon uh, increments and so i know basically exactly how much fuel i'm using with the tank and it is just behind the b pillar spreader in the cage for the filler um, and then it just goes all the way to the uh, all the way to the floor and then this is an MB so the floor has that little jog in it and the tank is actually built around that um, but anyway so get some rough measurements um, I do not make these currently this was made by a uh, or I was designed I designed it and then this was before I had my own uh, aluminum uh, TIG welder and all that. So um, this was built by a company in Florida. Um, and so anyways, it is at the top, it is four inches deep. And that's basically just enough to get the fuel filler in the corner behind the, behind the cage B pillar. And then it is almost to the top of the, the fender tubs, which have been raised. I wanted it, you know, I wanted it to be a close match to that. It's shaped, um, if I can get a, it's shaped pretty much exactly like the front of the wheel tubs. And then it is, I believe, I'm going to move you to a different. So it is 31 and a half inches wide. The rear um, tub to tub on an MB uh, GPW is a little bit narrower than the later Jeep. So this is only 33 inches between the wheel tubs where I believe a CJ23 is 36. So um, a little bit smaller there. These tubs have been raised um, for the big tires and stuff. And then it's, it's roughly 13 and a half, 13 inches tall, give or take, on the back. And that's just a vertical wall. 
And then, like I said, it follows the shape of the of the fender or of the front of the wheel tubs in the front. Um, it does have um, does have these mounting mounting bosses here, here, and there's one on the front uh, also. So four mounting points. And uh, it's been like that for for uh, twelve years, give or take. So, and then the one last thing I really liked when I did this was you got to go on a field trip underneath here. Oh, so. I was able to, I did this little fuel sump, if you can see this, sorry, it's so dirty under here, um, here is the fuel sump, and this is basically just a two inch tube that drops down about four inches from the bottom of the tank, and goes through a hole in the bottom of the floor, and then just has a 90 fitting on the bottom, and this is the, the fuel line, so um, no fuel lines needed or junctions in the cab at all, which was one of the things I wanted to clean up the looks of everything and uh, just makes it simple because the fuel line just runs, you know, probably six feet or so and uh, connects to the fuel pump on the side of the engine. So uh, Buick V6, so the fuel pump's on the same side. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. Oh, oh sorry. Um, but yeah, that's a quick tour of the fuel tank on uh, Rango. And uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment below. And, uh, you know, there's a bell and a subscribe button and all that stuff if you want to follow along. If you have any other questions on this old thing, uh, drop them in, in the comments and I'll, uh, I'll do a little video on it for you. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.